Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your spirit messages. This is going to be for the week of February 6th. I am very excited to bring this to you today. One of the things that spirit was inspiring me to talk about right at the onset was around slowing down, slowing the mind, slowing the mind. This is something that I have struggled with myself incredibly, um, still do to this day. This is something I struggle with. But when I was talking to spirit earlier, just kind of saying, okay, we're going to do the spirit messages today. What do we need to talk about for the week ahead? And spirit made me really want to talk about um, the fact that we're so busy in our day-to-day -day lives, but we're also so busy in our mind. Like even when we have time to slow down and you'll be able to see this as you lay down to bed, you lay down to rest your spirit, rest your body. And our minds are still going, 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 going. It's often at this time of the night as well, when our minds do slow down a little bit, the to-do list kind of takes a back seat that we notice the aches and pains in our bodies. We notice like, oh, I was like, my shoulders hurt. When did that happen? We are so busy in our minds and we are so busy looking about what's coming next that we are rarely present enough to even feel the discomfort and the disease in our bodies. So here's something that you can try just so you can see what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about right now, if you just slow down for one second and just Take a deep breath, exhale. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, rest the mind. Fully feel into your body. Feel the heaviness of it, the density. You may actually find much like me that I actually notice a little bit of a headache because or just like this blood rushing to my head because doing this business and like having so many clients, I'm always do, 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 thinking ahead, what's coming up, what's in the next hour is like, who haven't I messaged back? I have so much to do running ahead that we're rarely embodied. And so a lot of us tend to overeat or eat when we're not hungry or cope with alcohol to transition from one activity to the next, because it's like our bodies are screaming to be felt and to be nurtured and to be fed. And we're on autopilot feeding it continuously. Yet we give the mind so much space in our lives and the mind lies to us constantly, right? I've talked about mindset and stuff like that before. Our thoughts are boring. They repeat each other. They aren't always cohesive. They don't always make sense. They drain us. They, they ignite the nervous system to all of a sudden go into fight, flight, or worry. When if we can slow down enough to kind of feel embodied, what spirit is making me feel is that the sense of inner peace will come in. But also, again, I have to bring up this uh, message around overeating and um, alcohol use, right? I'm not against alcohol. I drink wine once in a while. I used to drink wine every day though, when I was in corporate to transition from worker bee hustler to like mommy mode. I used to do that transition with wine. And it was like, all of a sudden I would feel a bit tipsy. I would like feel like in my body for once, but you can actually get into your body just through the breath. So really what spirit's wanting you to pay attention to this week is how much you're in your head. And if you ever actually feel your body right? And, and pay attention as you're about to go to sleep as well. What happens for you in that experience, right? Do you all of a sudden notice those aches and pains? Do you all of a sudden notice, oh, I don't feel like I've caught my breath today. I don't feel like I took a really deep breath. So really pay attention, really focus in on that because spirit is really wanting us to learn to slow down a little bit so we can kind of like enjoy ourselves and really take care of our bodies. I don't know why I keep needing, look, you guys, this is a message I need as well. So this is fun that it's kind of coming up. Um, so just, just heed attention to that and pay attention to it. And if you catch yourself, and I, I just have to say this again, but it's like you're thinking, thinking, thinking about what's coming next, what's coming tomorrow, what's coming in 10 minutes, what's coming in an hour, I forgot to do this, I didn't do this, what am I going to cook for dinner? If you constantly are chasing these thoughts, it steals your breath away. It actually makes my lungs hurt even thinking like that. And that's how I think all the time. And so spirit is just telling us, just be in the moment, focus on what's immediately around you. I see a candle. 
I see a podcast mic. I see me with my new fancy headband. Um, you know, just pay attention to immediately what is around you just to give you a minute of presence. I'll be honest with you for years. I never really understood Elkhart Tolle. Like I, I listened to the power of now like 10 times. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't get it. But I've been listening to it every single night. Did you see that light just go by? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know what minute mark that is at, but obviously spirits around and supporting. Um, yeah. Okay. I lost my train of thought there. I'm just going to pull some cards now. You guys hear the message. It's for you. Pay attention to it. Be embodied. Okay. We're getting some jumping cards. I'm using Yasmin Bolin, right? So the first ones that we get is new moon and Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. I feel like we just had a new moon in Capricorn or is that coming up on the 13th? Um, it's either just past or just about to happen. So new moon and Capricorn talking about the hard work paying off, but I also want to heed the worker bees who are listening to this, that it's not all about the hustle. It's not all about transactional work. Sometimes doing less does more. I find that some of the most success I have financially in my business is during times where I'm actually not doing any client work. I take two weeks off every other month. And it's usually during those two weeks, I sign all these different clients in my big mentorship package. And I'm not doing anything. It's like, I do the front work. I show up for you guys every single week. I post podcasts almost every single week. I'm on my Instagram every single day. Like I'm showing up because I love showing up in these places. And it's like when I rest, right. When I, when I'm actually taking the time to slow down, down and do something for myself. That's actually when I see the fruits of my labor. So spirit is telling you here through this uh, Capricorn new moon card. And the new moon is the time of rest, right? It's the time for reflection. It's the time to actually be still. And so for those of you who are trying to create things through working, make sure you're not forcing and make sure that you're integrating time into your month, week, day, whatnot, to actually slow down and do something for yourself that's like not related to what you're trying to accomplish. And that's going to be very important. Spirit is also asking us to not let pride get in our way. This has come up for me quite a bit lately. <laughs> Um, I don't need to talk about right now. I'll talk about in a future podcast episode for sure. I've been going through like a lot in the past couple months, but spirit is saying like, you've been asking for different opportunities to come your way. And then when they come your way, all of a sudden you're like, no, not that one. And you kind of like pass it off, but you need to understand that even though it's not exactly what you vision, spirit is still bringing it to you because it is going to help your highest and greatest path. So don't turn down opportunities or experiences that come your way because they aren't exactly what you set out, um, how you thought it was going to come to you. Okay. So just pay note to that. Spirit is also asking us to call balance. You can see the scales here. The card actually says win, win, uh, win, win outcome is in the forecast. But what I'm feeling about this card is this uh, balance coming to fruition for some, but there's still some people who are doubting uh, their self-worth. So if you kind of like sit in the South worth camp where you could use a little bit more love and nurturing around that spirit is really asking you to balance your past experiences with your future desires. So again, going to mindset quite often when we have these future desires, they get overcome with the evidence of our past life or of our past, right? So say you're looking for a relationship, but all my relationships up till now have been shitty, right? Well, no joke because you're looking for a relationship, but spirit is actually wanting you to balance. Yes. The evidence of your past, but also marry it and harmonize it with your desires of the future. I know that whatever's happened in the past doesn't have to negate or be part of the energy of what you're trying to call in. You can let it go. So you really need to balance out those thoughts. And again, just sticking with the theme of presence, right? Presence. If we're thinking too much in the future or the past, we're not present at all. And so we need to be careful with that. So I'm just going to take it to my tea. So we really need to find a balance between those thoughts. And the way that we um, see our past experiences in our future. A couple more cards here. Okay, so for some of you, this is calling um, to make some adjustments. I kind of want to go back to this Capricorn Moon card where a lot of people are forcing things that they want in their life. Like it's almost like this like hustle feeling when really 
it is going to be when you're kind of sitting back in the flow where things really start to move in your life. Trust me, I've tested this out energetically in my business. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So spirit is saying that there are adjustments that need to be required when you're pursuing the dreams that you really want. You need to make some adjustments because if you keep doing what you've always been doing, you're keep going to get the same results you've always gotten. So we do need to adjust. We do need to pivot. We do need to shift within what we're trying to create to make sure that we're bringing in new energy. So if you find yourself stagnant or in this loop, it's because spirit is really encouraging us to try something different and make some little adjustments. So there's that one final card is the surrender card. Of course, I love this, right? So this is a full moon card. So this is surrender to the divine, whatever's come up for you in this week, whether it's something that like didn't go your way, or if it's something that you weren't expecting, you're not quite sure what to make of it, or it's something that is going better than you even think. And you're like, how do I sustain that? This is what happened to me. My business was like, it started going so well. My fear from not having enough clients switched to how am I going to sustain this? Like, could it be this good forever? And so there are people in all these different camps, which is really in summary, a place of not trusting. So spirit is really asking us to surrender to the divine plan. Trust that all things equal out in the end, whether you've been done, done wrong by, or whether things are not coming to fruition quick enough for you, or you lost that client, whatever it is, spirit is saying there's divine law at play and you need to try, trust in the justice of the divine, but you need to surrender for the energy of that to kind of like move. So please do surrender. I love Gabrielle Berenstein saying where she says, if you think you've surrendered, surrender some more. And that's very true as well. Surrendering is hard though, especially when we have desires. And I was talking to one of my clients about this this week, where you really kind of, this is from a mediumship lens, you really have to kind of, you know, find a balance, going back to the balance card, find the balance between expectations and desires, because of course we want goals. Of course we need goals to kind of like move ourselves forward, especially people who are in their feminine. You need goals more than anyone else because you need that motivation to do those transactional items. But spirit is really wanting us to harmonize. And this has come up all week. The goals and expectations because with goals comes expectations and with expectations come disappointment, continuous disappointment. So try not to have expectations and have goals, surrender to the divine and just trust that according to divine law, what you want to bring into your life and what is meant for you will come in perfect time and order. It's out of your hands. Just keep dreaming, keep wishing, keep healing, keep moving forward and you're going to be fine. So take a few minutes of pro of moments of presence. If you can feel into your body, breathe into your body, recognize where your mind is getting really ahead of yourself and try to slow down through other ways other than food, alcohol, or whatever vices you're currently using to transition in your life from hustler to like calm person. So hopefully you enjoyed this, uh, sending you guys all my love this week and we'll see you next week.